Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Leticia, also known as Makeup Loyalty. Um, this is also my first video, guys, so I'm super excited. Um, I shouldn't keep saying um, right? Definitely not. Okay. So, today's video is going to be about bad decisions I made in makeup or um, a what to do with it makeup video okay so when i first started uh doing makeup i made some really bad decisions because i didn't really know why i was doing those things i just was doing things and no one told me you know why you know you watch other people's channels and it's like they're like mid already into the video and in some videos they say why they do it some of them they don't because they just assume that you always watch their videos um so you know i didn't really care to you know learn what some of these things were or I didn't have to or I you know I couldn't so I'm going to start off by saying some of these things people might do some you might not do but this is the way I do my makeup and this is what I believe works for me it might not work for you but it works for me all right so let's jump right in so first when I first started doing makeup I thought this step wasn't really important. You know, I wasn't gonna spend $30, $40 on this step because it didn't seem like uh, something that needed to be done, okay? So I have to say, it is very important to prime your face um, if you don't, if you don't. So I don't know if primer actually stays, making makeup stays longer, make your makeup stay longer. I don't know if it does, but I know it does clog up a little bit of your pores, so you won't have huge pores in your pictures, and it also keeps some of the makeup out of your pores. So if you just go slapping makeup, slap the foundation, foundation all over your face with no primer, it is going to get into your pores because it has no layer under it. So it definitely will get into your pores. Now, I had to learn that the hard way. I did have to learn that the hard way. Um, but yeah, priming is very, very, very important. So, I, you know, I Smashbox this is the one I currently use. I also use uh, Professionals. And uh, mainly I use the uh, Photo Finish Smashbox one. But I have learned that I should spend $36 on it. Cause at first, you know, makeup is pretty expensive. We all know if you like, you know, certain brands, you know, you could buy NYX, Maybelline, stuff like that. And that's drugstore makeup and it won't cost as much. But some things cost, you know, a nice penny. I mean, even if so, you know, you're spending money on your product, you don't want to waste $36 on something that you don't know if it works. So I can say, in my opinion, priming is very important. Uh, I prime my eyes. I prime uh, my skin. It is important. It is important, okay? Important. Learn the hard way. I ain't no makeup specialist, but, but, it's important. Just wanna throw it out there. Okay, moving on. So next we have up um, something that I thought was important, but it's only for severe cases. You know, so like again, I said I, um, you know, didn't use the prime, so I learned the hard way uh, because I had nothing to plug out my skin, and I was just slapping foundation on. Y'all remember, just slapping foundation on, and then bumps come. You know, then I'm just picking and picking and picking and picking and picking and picking away at these bumps, and they leave scars. Okay, so you know, you go online again, and you see everybody just covering their face with all these colorful things. And you're like, oh my God, I so need that. I really need that. I really did think I need it. Now, let me say, you might need it. And if it does make you, if you think it makes it better, then I say do it. But if it's only for minor things, I would definitely say don't use it. I mean, it's literally be a waste of money. So I'm talking about color correcting. I have the LA Girl Pro Concealer in this uh, red color now it is many other colors but for my skin tone I probably would only need this color 
all the other colors wouldn't really, you know, do anything for me. Um, this is the only one I have, but I can explain a few of the colors and why you use them. Um, this orangish reddish color is for people with deeper skin tone to cover up dark circles, dark spots, like I said, acne scars, stuff like that. Now, you do not need to use this if if you like have one or two little t -t 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 -t, two little spots honestly i have a few along the side of my jawline and i have a little bit on my neck which usually i cover up with foundation but i was pretty doing this pretty fast but as you can see i didn't conceal it put any uh color correcting on it and i'm fine why because that's what we have concealer for now if you have really 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 dark spots like really bad discoloration then yes use it but if not you literally can cover up with full cover concealer i use shape tape and the color deep to cover up my dark spots and it works perfectly fine like i i have no problems with it now if i went in with this it would literally look the same the same on me because my dark spots aren't that dark they are troublesome but they are not that dark um and again some of the other colors i wouldn't use like green green is for redness to mask redness my face is literally never again that red that i need to put color correcting concealer on it so regular concealer would work perfectly fine okay uh yellow I think yellow is to cover up like veins, to mask like purple, like bruises and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, a pinkish color is for uh, people with fair skin or like very pale to cover up dark spots on there because this is a little harsh for their face. But again, you really don't need it, okay? I honestly can say so i didn't even notice but i bought the tester now again i don't use this because i don't really need it i don't know why i bought it but yeah I had tester sticker on it <laughs> all right moving on so now we're gonna move on to something that you know when i didn't know that much about makeup. I didn't really think it was important. And then again, I didn't want to waste money on it, you know. You know, I spend, you know, eight hours a day, 40 hours a week at work because I do uh, work other than do makeup. I don't do anybody else's makeup. I'll just be blogging about makeup. But yeah, I do work a 40 hours a week schedule, maybe sometimes more than that because we can get overtime. So I didn't want to waste my hard on money on some of this stuff that, you know, was a waste. So... I used to, well, I still do, uh, wear matte liquid lipsticks, which dries matte. Now you wonder, like, oh my God, why is my lips flaking up? You really think that, okay? Because I didn't know how to, like, I didn't know why my lips would just flake up, and I literally hated it. It looks so dry and cracked up, and it's so terrible, okay? So terrible. So, uh, one of my friends, she actually told me, like, you need lip exfoliator. And I was like, mmm, do I want to pay, you know, $20, $30 for stuff that you literally can't tell if I have it or not? Now, I have learned in makeup is not if you can tell, but is if I can tell. That's the difference. So, not that everybody else can tell, but if I can tell, then it's bad, Okay. So I used to look at my lips and I'm like, this is dry. Let me check this exfoliator out, okay? So the first exfoliator that I got was the Fresh Sugar Scrub. It's like made with brown sugar and cinnamon. It's so, so fucking, it's popping. Uh, but yeah, that's the first one I had. And literally, I will not, not put on lip exfoliator before I do my makeup. Like sometimes I brush my lips while I'm brushing my teeth so you can get some of the skin off and stuff. And then the exfoliator works even better that way. Um, but yeah, you literally have to prime your lips also. Like that, that is an important thing to me. Of course, you know, dead skin and stuff on your lips is gonna have, you know, 
it, it's going to contribute to you like not drinking any water and things like that which yes it is you know gonna make your lips more dry but of course you still want to use this even if you drink a ton of water still exfoliate or still prime your lips okay okay but I can say I have no clue what this part is for on the on the lip primer if someone knows please leave a comment below because I have no clue and every time I go to the Sephora I literally never ask anybody but I literally have no clue what this is for like it advertises and says you could take the bottom off but it doesn't tell you what to do so if anyone knows let us just them know okay okay all right so moving on the next thing we have is we're gonna talk about brows now it's really hard out here for a pimp for brows yo. you literally have good brow days bad brow days you literally never hardly have bad contour days or bad lip days but usually brows is something that probably never looks the same all the time never literally hardly ever looks the same all the time like if you go through my instagram um and see which i'll leave my instagram uh name below also and you look through my instagram you would notice literally sometimes my brows are like super arch or sometimes they just like a little you know go like this or sometimes they just straight you know so brows are literally a struggle so i was working at um a store before before the job that i work at currently and, and some girl used to always have some super fleeky eyebrows now again this is before i got into makeup so i had no clue you know i had an eyebrow pencil and i was out here with the brow pencil that's all in my mind that i needed i was wrong i can tell you that so yeah i was wrong so um so she's coming with very so so fleeky eyebrows and i used to be like what the hell is she doing to these eyebrows that my eyebrows don't look like this? Like, why did my mom do this to me? Why did genetics do this to me? Why can't I have fleeky eyebrows? Like, dumb things was fleeked out, okay? So, I'm like, what exactly do you do to your eyebrows? Now, she looked at me kind of crazy because she's probably like, what the hell are you talking about? Why are you asking me about my eyebrows, okay? Because you know, we know... Sometimes we like to make it look like our stuff is real, but they not. Like, I literally hardly have any eyebrows. Just going through it out there. But, yes. So she was like, is concealer? And I was like, concealer? Like, that's it? She's like, yeah, an eyebrow pencil. Okay. All right. Ah, okay. So what I did was is, after that, I went out and bought me some concealer. Now, I have the Studio Finish Concealer in NW40. So, this is going to last forever. It is very good $20 that I have spent. I actually love this. You don't have to worry about it being too watery. It's like, kind of like pasty, kind of. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not really good with descriptions, guys. But it's, it's, not, like, it's not like liquidy. Like, it's not the concealer that you put under your eyes. Because if you do, it, it will crease. But... Your eyebrows, you could just dip a brush in here and just line it. And then after that, you are fine. But that is how you get fleeky eyebrows. So the only thing the concealer is for is to clean it up, you know, because all of us don't have, you know, super steady hands. And, you know, we might go down. It might be like a little bump. But after you line it with the concealer, you know, it'll give you a shape to it it will clean it up it will make it look pop, pop, popping it will make it look super popping okay so yeah that's another thing that I used that I didn't know about when I first started makeup now I can tell you right now that it seems like everything's getting pricey I literally have spent a lot of money on makeup but I haven't spent it all at one time, you know? Uh, you have to save up for it, so don't feel bad. If you wanna be like, oh my God, I wanna buy all this stuff, just start off slow. 
you start off slow you know all the things that you know you care about like i love my brows i love my eyeshadow so that's mainly all the stuff i had first and then i just worked my way up from there remind you some of the stuff i didn't know about so of course i didn't have it so i only had a couple makeup i had a little little foundation and stuff like that so yeah all right next up so again okay i I'm, I'm gonna stop saying it guys like I'm gonna stop saying it. I'm so sorry because I noticed I am talking about from when I first started learning how to do makeup so I'm gonna stop saying when I first started started to learn how to do makeup I'm gonna stop saying it I'm so saying I promise you know I probably shouldn't make promises I can't keep because you know it's an accent but yes so I used to want to do eyeshadow I loved eyeshadow you know when I went into the Mac store before I didn't know too much about makeup. It was probably the first time I bought my my foundation. Uh, well, first time I ever bought like $30 foundation because I almost died. I literally used to live off drugstore. And then, you know, everybody's like, yeah, get different makeup. You know, you want better looking makeup after you start loving makeup. So I went to Mac with my first foundation and I told the lady, I was like, oh, I love eyeshadow. Like, what kind of brush did you have for eyeshadow? She was like, dark and light. I was like, I don't even know what this lady's talking about right now. She's like, do you usually do light makeup or light eyeshadow or, or dark eyeshadow? And I was like, I usually don't do no eyeshadow, Miss Lady, but I lied. And I might told her I did light makeup. What ifs? What ifs? I don't know what that was about. Um, Yeah, so what ifs? So then she gave me two brushes, you know, so I can do my makeup. Now, I literally didn't know what the hell to do still. Because she just gave me these two brushes. I never, I didn't know. Okay? So later on, after learning, uh, you know, how to apply eyeshadow, I learned that it's two types of brushes, mainly for your eyes. It is a fluffy one. I don't know if y'all can see that powder, but yeah, I just used this on my makeup. Whatever. So it's a fluffy one, which is going to be for blending and stuff like that. Now it is also a flat brush. So these are my first, my two first brushes, my two first brushes. So it's also a flat brush, okay? So, you know, I used to like sweep this in, which is wrong. Because this is for the pattern of the eye. Da, 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 da. And the other one is for blending. So I didn't know that. Um, and I know a lot of people don't because you just see these brushes and you're like, I'm pretty sure, you know, all of them work the same. Yeah, no, no. I need y'all not to be trying to blend with a flat brush. Now, by any means, if you do this and you love it, do what you do, okay? Do the do-do, okay? But if you want to learn how to blend and apply eyeshadow, I am not going to say again that I am an expert, okay? I am still learning, just like I'm sitting here with a video. I'm pretty sure I probably learned something doing my makeup to film this video. Uh, but yeah, blend, fluffy, eyeshadow lid is the flat, okay? I want to see y'all out there blending, well, I'm trying to blend with the flat brush because it ain't, it is not going to work, okay? Okay? Okay, 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 moving on. So next up, so next up we have, uh, you know, again, so I just explained the story that, you know, I went to MAC and she just gave me, you know, foundation, it was like liquid foundation, you know. Whatever. I said, all right, great. So I got home and I put it on my face. And, you know, I just looked at, like, like an oil slick. I was just like, I like looked at just like, like someone smeared cream on my face. Like, I didn't have real skin. Like, it was just, it was terrible. It was terrible. Okay? So, again, I got powder to go over it. So, when you always use a liquid foundation or a stick foundation... You're going to want to put powder over it. If not, you're just going to look like you are plastic. When you see somebody walking down the street and they look hot and a little bit plasticky, it's because their makeup is liquid and it didn't put any any powder over top of it. 
okay? So powder foundation over top of your regular foundation will do if that's what you like. Now, again, I didn't know some of the things I was doing this for. I didn't know the reasons. I just saw people on the internet do it or people in the stores do it. And I had no clue what I was doing. So I have huge pores. They are ridiculously, ugh, they are, they are durable. They are really terrible, okay? So I used to, you know, always bake. And I, I, you know, I sat there and I was like, this isn't doing anything. Like, what is it doing? What is it really doing? You know? But I saw everybody on YouTube doing it. You know, I saw memes about baking. Girl thought something, what's wrong with you? You don't bake? And I'm like, I gotta bake. I got to. Oh my God, I gotta bake. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes, I didn't know what I was doing at first. So I just stopped doing it. And then, you know, I was putting on my makeup. This is actually not too long ago, you know, I was putting on my makeup and I said to myself, like, my pores is just so huge. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. So I decided, you know, one day, you know, still, I didn't know how to fix that. I just was like, I think I got the pore official, uh, professional for the primer. So cover up my pores. I'm like, this is so going to work. So I put that on and it, it made it smaller. Like I do love that primer. That primer is bomb. It did make it smaller, but I was like, it's still really, really huge. Like, I don't know why it's so huge. So then, you know, I'm still sitting there and again, I see the meme with the girls like, I love bacon. Oh, I bake all the time. And you know, you see that. So I said, let me look up what bacon's for. So if I would have known what I know now, I would have baked every day. So baking is for uh, when you have huge pores and that, you know, you put your powder on, you let it sit. Now, while it's sitting, the heat from your face is warming up the power and powder on your face and you let it sit. Now, uh, the reason why you want to let it sit is because you want the powder to heat on your face and melt into those pores to cover up those huge pores. Now, you don't want to put uh, a ton of it just on there, you know. So, um, what they use is setting powder. So, the setting powder I was Laura Mercier. And again, you know, I don't, if originally I wasn't too fond of spending $40 on this. Now, I can say my makeup looks a thousand times better. A thousand. A thousand isn't even a, a number, but yes. 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 Yes, it looks amazingly good. This is some of the best setting powder. I used to use banana powder. Sometimes it gives you a flashback. This does not give me a flashback. I don't know about anybody else, but I love this setting powder. Now, again, if you have huge pores, that's what you're going to want to do it for. Sorry, guys. If you have huge pores, that's what you're going to want to do it for. Also, <clears throat> you want it to set your makeup. So it's supposed to make the makeup last longer. And it's also supposed to, you know, get any of the oil if you have oil in your face. So I have very oily skin. Like, I have combination to oily. So, like, down here is usually regular. But, like, in my T-zone, it's usually very, very greasy. Very greasy. So I can say I haven't had any trouble with the setting powder. Uh, usually my makeup looks pretty fresh for a while. But then again, I really... I mean, even though I love makeup, uh, again, I work, and it is very, it takes a lot of time to put makeup on before you go to work. But again, if you do that, you go ahead. I mean, occasionally I go to work with makeup on, but most of the time, no. So you literally will see me with a beat face probably on the weekends, because that's usually when I'm off. Just saying. You know, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but if you like this video and you want to know more about certain stuff, just let me know in the comments. If you want to know why people do certain stuff in makeup, these are the only things I could think of at this time. Uh, it might be more stuff that you guys need to know about. Let me know. Leave a comment below or check out my Instagram at makeuployalty underscore. Um... For any, uh, if you want to DM me, if you want to leave a comment on one of my pictures, just let me know and I will let you guys know. But this is my video, you know, hopefully you like it. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on anything so you can know when I make more videos.
because who doesn't love a good makeup video? I know I do. I don't know why I'm so hyped right now. I have no clue, guys. And also, I filmed this uh, eyeshadow look using, I used the Tarte, uh, what? Oh, okay. Tardius Pro Palette. And I also used Stila's Metal metal eyeshadow and rose gold retro i think that's what it's called i know the name is called rose gold retro because i have it right here but it's still a liquid eyeshadow metal it is bomb.com this is my second one it's so popping but i filmed this look and i'm pretty sure this video is gonna be up after i edit that video uh so yeah if you want again if you want to know how i got this look check it out on my instagram guys